Hello there gorgeous gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV and we've got our review for Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown which is a modern remake of Virtua Fighter 5 Final Showdown which turned out to be not so final. Does it bring the beat down or does it cower and whimper under my meaty thumbs? Let's have a little look-see. Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown is what Virtua Fighter fans want, a competent fighter wrapped in a modern package. It's essentially the same game that released almost a decade ago on the PS3 and Xbox 360, but with a modern lick of paint and a few tweaks to the game's appearance. I didn't play Virtua Fighter 5 back in its day, so I can't really say if it's faithful or not, but I have given the game a quick go on PS Now, and they seem to play very similarly. So, if you've been around the block before, you won't get lost on this return journey. What I can say is that Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown has brought the series a long way from where I remember it. I'm old enough to remember sliding 20 pence coins into arcade machines to make blocky people smack each other. I actually had a Virtua Fighter game for the Sega Saturn too, and I remember thinking the ninja guy was cool and that the drunk old fella was funny. They return in Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown along with a bunch of familiar faces, but if you're an old timer like me, some of those familiar faces will feel new, especially given that they actually look like people now, rather than Lara Croft's violent cousins. Here's a quick look at the cast. Karate Kid, all grown up. Not Chun Li, old man with a cough, a self harming ginger. Hobo Black Man, pro mask, pro life, pro vax ninja. Eye candy for the lonely wankers. Hair gel fetish, an old alky, an annoying little cat. A lovely geisha, a young Dalai Lama. Storm from X Men, Brad the Bro. Go the Emo, a bird who thinks she's a cat. Hermano. Belly two boobs and a gimp in a training bra. I could have turned that into a little song, but time did not allow. Maybe for Virtua Fighter 6. The characters look and move in a way that feels great when smashing the buttons and hoping for success, though there's something about the way they speak that turns me off, especially that annoying little prick lion. Every time his voice comes through the TV, I die a little bit inside, though that could be the necrosis of my liver. Most of my scrapping in Virtua Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown was spent in arcade mode against the AI opponents. I was surprised to find that on normal difficulty, the game was really easy. I'm not a fighting game expert by any means, but I was laying the smack down with real ease. I even passed the controller to my 5 year old boy, Charlie, and he was able to get to the bonus round fight against Dural, though his approach was far less refined, and when he lost to Dural, his tantrum was much louder than mine. The only way to get a real challenge then is to ramp up the difficulty or go online and fight against other humans. Sadly for me, I was not able to get much time in with the online play due to other reviewers just not being as dedicated to the job as I am. I tried over the course of a few days, morning, noon and night, and sometimes so late at night it was almost morning. I did get a couple of rounds in but that's it. The good news is that it worked really well and although I got my ass handed to me, I can't blame the lag for the pounding, just my own skills. There wasn't any lag. Something I did find to be a bit of a disappointment was the lack of single player modes outside of arcade. There's a training room where you can try to learn each character's best moves, but I gave that up like a bad job really bloody fast because, well, look at the basic combo. I'm at an age where putting in my pin number at the supermarket checkout is like being on a quiz show. No way am I learning those moves. I'll make do with the simple punch, kick, grab and smashing all the buttons in desperation when I'm on my last slice of health. Thank you very much. There are unlockables if that's your thing, but that's not really a lot for single players. I gave local verses a go with Charlie and he beat me. I beat him and then we played the game and then we both had a tantrum when mummy told us to stop playing for dinner. Even the trophies, of which there are just 13, are mostly geared towards online play. One trophy sets the goal of playing 1000 online matches. I doubt I'll even break 100, never mind 1000. It feels like a slap in the face to fighting fans who just want to play without the stresses of online. And that's a shame, because if I remember rightly, playing against the computer was enough back in the day. But what do I know? I'm just an old geezer. Right, I'm off to go out and shout at some clouds. And that is the end of this review. Thank you very much for watching, and if you made it to the end, do us a solid like, comment, and subscribe. Poke the bell so that you never miss a video. 
Check the info box below for our social media channels, website links and our supporters links where you can support the team if you can. I've been Chris, you've been gorgeous and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, bye bye.